Today we've got a total of 18 packages shipping out from our Any Which Way Holiday live sale last week and that doesn't include the two UPS packages we have going out. We're going to go off to the post office and get everything shipped out that we have for today and then we'll probably have to do another run tomorrow. That's right. If you guys resell, I don't know if you use this end of day shipping method. It is literally a godsend. It was so fast in there. Um, we do sell and if you guys are interested in learning more about how we resell, let us know in the comments. We don't really cover it too much because we are first and foremost collectors and then part-time resellers, but we'd be happy to go into details of how we do our little side business. But yeah, we sent 18 packages out to the USPS, two to UPS, so you guys should have tracking. We're going to try to get the rest out this weekend, Monday the latest. Look at this little planter is, guys. I think he's made it in Thailand, so he's probably from like the 90s, but really cute. Look at that little face and the jack-o'-lantern. I do like him. I might pick him up. He is $3. I just think he has a really cute face. He almost looks like a snowman. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, I just spotted this. Oh my goodness. Super kitschy. His little eyes are sort of coming off but he's just fantastic. He's like the onion girl. Where's Janine? What do you think? I found cute. She's plastic. Cute. Yeah, yeah. Those are really nice. Yeah. And I forgot what our colors are. Uh, uh, pink, yellow, and orange. I don't know if there's a price on him, so we might have to get him priced out, but how cute is he? I might have to just pick him up. His eyes would be pretty easy to paint over. So, we're gonna leave them behind. I think they're really pretty. Yeah, I just can't. I'm gonna need a cart. Some cute Halloween stuff over here. Look at that little guy with his hat. It's quite a hat. Um, this is definitely newer. This is probably, yeah, me in China, you know, recent, but I thought it was cute. It's like a serving. Yeah, made in USA. Huh. Very um, mid-century looking. This would be like a good fruit basket too. I do like that. Into here it goes. These are sort of fun. Are these plastic? Yep, they're plastic. Made in USA. These are probably older too. 70s maybe. 99 cents each, which I feel like isn't too bad. Just like a nice classic yellow. Janine. 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 Janine, hello, hi. Hi. Oh, whoa. You guys I'm trying to get, plug you down. Oh, how cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, so cute. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. God, you, you can't. You can't put all of in that. Oh, it's, it's, it's something to think about. I also look for the new car. Oh, perfect. Maybe? So that the cage doesn't sit up against the new uh, seats. I don't know. I need help. Emily has Emily has a um, a bag of ornaments that I found. It has oh. like a couple jewel braids and stuff oh, okay. that I'm probably gonna get if I I don't know if she doesn't put it down. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Wow. These? Yeah. Yeah, they're from '92. And listen, they're like a drum. That's so cool. Wow. Um, and these have the cutest little tiny Easter tiny baskets. Tiny Easter baskets. I had to show you. And That's this. great too. This is from like the 70s. Really cute. And a lot of the times these are like uh, the paint chipping off and stuff. These are paper mache usually. This yeah, is in like brand new condition. And see if there were any other ones. You know, sometimes okay. they came in stuff. Can I leave the cart with you? Is it a, is it a good pushing one? <laughs> is it a good one? The cart? It's, it's okay. It's squeaking a little bit, but it's not too bad. Oh my gosh. It's nothing amazing, but each one is uh, has stuff. It's kind of like Oh my gosh, wait, Emily, did they, did they just put this stuff out? No, it was all on the Christmas stuff. I was just here. Um, wow. Really nice. broke it in the middle. Oh, I but see. I love that. Wow. Have a cart here. That's a great box. Yeah, great box. Let's take a look on. Ugh. Fantastic box. So Janine found this bag, yeah, and it does have some jewel oh, brights in there and some shiny brights. Oh, here's another jewel bright. Yeah, the stencil one, Saturn. Take a good look and in there. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Very nice. That one is nice. Huh. Yeah. 
And it's only, yeah, it's only $1.99. And then another bag. There's an older one right here. I think there was a uh, Santa in here. Yeah, but this is very faded. Oh, uh, yep. This is a deer. Faded Santa, a deer. Wow. Yeah. Also $1.99? $2.99. $2.99. Interesting. We'll throw them in the cart and think about it. And I believe this is Hallmark? Yeah, no, maybe. Hallmark? Made in Hong Kong. I don't think that's Hallmark. No. But it's really cute. They... Um, you have some explaining to do? Why? Because you just found something that was very similar. We just had the live sale yesterday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. And you sold your pretty onion girl. I think I filmed this, but yeah, can you believe this little kitschy I can't believe it. duck Easter she's plastic? So cute. I might have to keep her. I don't know. She's just so cute. She's so cute. Look at the little chicken here. Oh, my goodness. And she's only 99 cents. We were able to price her, so. Wow. Wow. Got this really cool Cabbage Patch Kids pin up minis doll. In the original packaging guys that is so cool i don't know what happened in here actually look at that something like exploded in there all that brown stuff um but yeah so cool to see and look at but yeah i have a bag for four dollars um 25 off there are two little mcdonald's furbies in here what mm -hmm. are they from 98. wow little gray guy and this really cute little turquoise guy Aww. i don't know if they're worth picking up um yeah, I don't know. But they're cute. They are really cute. Smug sort of stood out to me. Look at Santa. He's giving the peace sign. Um, looked like sort of old to me. And then I flipped up this sticker just to see. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says Odagiri on there. So this is an older, maybe more desirable mug. I'm going to have to look him up. But I think he's really cute. We need this at our house. This is so great that we, I just found this brand new. Our tub kind of, uh, sometimes the shower will leak out the side and we've been talking about getting these and they have it for $2.99. I'm so excited. I love finding personal use items. Hey guys, I'm making a really tough decision here because of that broken light in there. I know it's easily fixable, replaceable, but because of that and because it's a little bit on the bigger side and I have so much to sell, I'm going to leave this one behind for somebody else. But take a look at those graphics one more time. It is just so good. I love it, but I am going to be leaving it behind. This is probably from like the early 70s, if I had to guess. Probably all made in USA, no barcode. It's just a really nice vintage Christmas piece. We're gonna go into the second day estate sale. Might be some vintage, might not. We'll not too sure. Ashland. This is Ashland, right? Yeah, we didn't park on Ashland. Okay. All right, right ahead in. Here is the Christmas leftover. Doesn't look like too much. Little wooden guys. That's actually my dream home right there. That top one. I like yeah. that one too, though. I love the illustration on that. We came across this estate sale and are looking at all these books, and I now have a pile. I'll show you guys some stuff. Yeah. So, the short dictionary of real estate terms you guys saw. I probably won't get it. The only graphic really is the outside. Oh yeah. Oh. Stop. <laughs> this book, Emily, my sister actually found it. It's like a $40 book. It's from the 30s. This one I thought was really cool. It had like um really nice like Asian illustrations. I haven't looked it up. Oh my god, there go all the books. Look at that. This is probably older. I'm excited. Look at this tin. Beautiful. This Cupid book from the 70s. And this book from, I think it's 1916. I sort of fell in love with this illustration. So I think I have a little pile here going. Guys, I couldn't believe when I found this. Unbelievable. It is so kitschy. It is so good for Easter. This is definitely made in Hong Kong from the 70s. I mean, look at this little chick, but the star of the show is this guy right here. He does have some paint loss in the eyes, but when I did see this, I immediately thought of the onion lady that I found at an estate sale a few months ago. Look at them. They're twinsies. They are. How wild. 
So I guess they made a bunch of different variations of this style of kitschy plastic decor. I am unsure whether I'm going to keep or sell this. I'll probably hold on to it for this Easter season and maybe pass it along next year. I picked up this hammock seat cover for my new car. A lot of you came really close with your guesses. Nobody got it exactly correct, but keep guessing. We will reveal the answer soon. Um, I know this is about what it sells for at a Home Goods, but this is a hammock seat cover for a car. Um, I was pretty excited to see it and I figured why not just pick it up at the thrift? Before I jump in on what I found today, I just wanted to say I forgot to show these in the last video. I picked these up at the thrift store in the last video and they are up on eBay. And um, they are McDonald's Milk Glass Fire King coffee mugs. Cute. So, are really those cool. from like the 70s? Um, yeah, I think they are from the 70s. They look 70s to me. Yeah. And our eBay links are in our description. These are pretty cool. They're from 1992. Um, I can hear myself like echo when I talk. <laughs> uh, they're called boom ball. So when you, uh, when, <laughs> yeah. That. Boom. So every time you uh, hit a ball back and forth, it makes that like drum sound. I thought they were pretty cool because they're from 1992 and they got some fun colors. I'm not sure if I'll sell these or if I'll keep them for us to play. I um. I don't know, uh, they're just too cool, so I'm not sure. So this bag of ornaments was $1.99, which is actually really good. I purchased it just for, I'll show you, a few ornaments that aren't inside. So these are the ornaments that made me decide I needed to buy the whole bag. These are Jewel Bright ornaments. They're plastic with a little like decorative element hidden inside of them. Um, here, Laura, maybe you can show it up close a little bit better. I grew up with my mom decorating the tree with her jewel brights. I'll try to put in a picture here of what hers look like. They come in various different styles. I really like these. They're so nostalgic for me. Tell me um, if any of you had them on your tree or if you still do. This one actually has a little burn mark mm -hmm. from probably a, a big um, Christmas light bulb. So. This one's empty, so I can put whatever I want in there, which is really exciting. I was so happy to find these, and it was definitely worth $2.99. And I think you actually have really interesting ones, Janine, because mm -hmm. these, if you look closely, um, the middle of that decoration has a mercury bead in it. Little glass ornaments, which I don't think they would have used in like the true 70s. This is probably like late 60s, if I had to guess. Wow, and this one's really cool, too. It has like a glittery... Uh outside outside yeah it's a loose and a little holly berry inside yeah, a little loose holly berry very so i'm nice. very happy with these and um definitely worth a dollar so we went to that estate sale and it did have some christmas i think it was the second day weren't expecting a lot the only christmas that janine found is this tiny little cotton spun santa he's so cute he's adorable so of course he came home but my sister joined us and she really stumbled upon, hi Emily, I know you're watching. She stumbled across some really amazing old books. And if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't have taken the time mm -hmm. to look at them. This book is from 1926. Wow. The cover immediately caught my attention. I love this like fairy style illustrations. Mm -hmm. um, I grew up loving fairies and, and this front page, I was like, I need to bring this home. It's I think poems and it actually does have a resale value. I can't remember if it's like a good resale value or an okay resale value. I'll stick it right here for you guys. But regardless of its resale value, I just sort of like connected with it, um, which, you know, beyond holiday doesn't happen for me too much. So I'm most likely going to keep this. Emily actually found and gifted me or let me um, purchase this book called Once on Christmas by Dorothy Thompson. And look at that. It's a lot older than I suspected. That's so cute. It is from 1938. Wow. And this book is actually like a $40 book on eBay, which I was not expecting. I don't know if it's because it's Christmas and it's a little book, if it's the author or perhaps the illustrator. She might be the author and the illustrator. Either way, it's a collectible book. I didn't know that. I may resell it. I may hold on to it. Thank you, Emily. But I thought it was just really sweet. All right, if we have any book experts watching, we need your thoughts on this one. This one has us a little stumped. So upon first glance it says to my friends at christmas time and it's really interesting because the first page has a christmas uh poem on it also it looks like they may have gotten this at an antique mall for 30 dollars. the people at the estates like the owner the, the owner estate. the original owner because it does have that 
mark there so i don't know if it's actually worth 30 or anything but i thought that was a little interesting mm. thing to add it starts off with a christmas poem goes into the legend of sleepy hollow then it goes into another poem maybe or no i don't know a poem mm -hmm. and then rip van winkle um but i thought it was interesting because or we thought it was interesting um it says this book was executed by william fitch fitz fix fitz, fitz fitz um it says the font it says you know about how it was bound it doesn't have a publication date it's like a bunch of different seemingly random stories in this book my guess was that this was a gift to somebody for christmas somebody may have went to a book binder back in the early 1900s said i want these stories bound in this type of book and gifted it to somebody that is my guess i have no idea um Jean, do you have any guesses i really don't know i think your guess is pretty uh pretty good um it is just such a cool book too i just think it's amazing and emily found this and she gifted it to me because i have a bunch of sleepy hollow books in my book collection so thank you for that it's definitely going to stay in my collection i'm just curious as to um any it history is. it ends Anyone? with christmas bells yeah if anybody has any ideas theories um let us know it's a book mystery it's fun emily found this legend of sleepy hollow she really came across the best books yeah she really did look at this cool cover and she gifted it to janine mm -hmm. um i janine i think you collect yeah i collect sleepy hollow um stories and this cover is one that i don't have i think it's from the 60s if you want to See the publication date on that one? 1968. Wow, that's so cool. A book I did find myself was this Cupy book marked 1973. It says it's a genuine Cupy book and just has the cutest little graphics. Perfect for a Cupy collector. It's so cute. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Perfect for Aww. literally anyone. So if you guys are interested, this is on my eBay. I do have it available right now. It is so cute and I hope I pass it along to a cutie collector. The only book that I found myself happened to be this Stars book. Um, I have a lot of these. I think it shows in here actually. They made this type of book for like butterflies, moths, birds, and I kind of collect them. Um, they still make this today. Similar, it's similar looking. Obviously it has um, updated information. So this one is from 1964 wow which is pretty cool it's the how many it is the 25th printing so wow this was printed quite a lot probably a lot of information um if you think about the time that this was being printed we still hadn't gone to the moon yet so there was still a lot of discoveries to be made about space that's probably why it was printed so much um and i'm sure there's a lot of misinformation in here <laughs> but this is so cool to me like the illustration the art everything about it so cool and it is going to go into my book collection i mean that cover is just everything right i also want to say i did pick up that beautiful butterfly tin from this estate sale and it is over and on its way to susan susan thank you for participating in the live sale i hope you like it it is a beautiful tin it really is. i don't know if it was you or somebody else who identified that it's probably from the late 50s or 60s it's a great amazing tin so thank you again um i also picked up this book and wooden contraption thing mm -hmm. that was holding a lot of the books that we picked up it's i don't really know pretty. i just sort of felt a lot of things spoke to me at this estate sale mm -hmm. um this is so cool again this is out of my realm i don't know about you janine i don't know when this is from mm -hmm. i feel like it could either be like 70s because it is like orange and you know earth tones or it could be something from like the 20s no clue if you guys can identify like what this is how old it is i would love to know hmm i was thinking 50s i have no idea so yeah i don't know it like folds and then it's adjustable it's really cool i think it would look really nice on the broil with some books in it mm -hmm. as always guys thank you so much for joining us we had a lot of fun we hope you did too this little guy is gonna look great on our shelf. We hope you're enjoying our videos. We may be going trash picking soon. Oh boy. So stay tuned. Hopefully there's a lot of good stuff to be found in the next upcoming weeks on our channel. If you guys are enjoying our content, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And until next time, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.